guys welcome back to my channel I'm not really sure where to look at so I'm gonna kind of look <laughs> all around um, but this is the long anticipated question and answer video so I'm gonna be looking down at my phone because I have the questions on my phone but first question what are their names and how did you come up with them so we have um, from oldest to youngest Maverick Mia and Maddie Maverick was that was his original name um, it was off of um, Top Gun, and I have a huge obsession with Top Gun. For anybody that knows me, I love Tom Cruise. Um, so the name was just like perfect. It kind of just stuck, and he responded very well to his name. Um, Mia, <coughs> Mia's former name was um, Nani. We chose Mia because when we first got together, um, we're big like movie fans, and when we first got together, um, one of the first like movie series that we watched was Fast and Furious and um so obviously Mia is off of that and then Maddie Maddie's full name is Madsen but we call her Maddie for short um Madsen is off of a video game I believe it's Life is Strange that my husband plays so that's where they came from second question how old are they and are they full huskies all of them are full huskies based off of hearsay um we haven't had any actual DNA test done on them. Um, Maverick will be three um, on Sunday, August 27th. Mia just turned two on May 16th and Maddie just turned six months. She was born on March 3rd. Um, we believe Maverick has some Malamute in him just based off of his characteristics. Uh, Mia looks like a piebald husky. Um, if you ever have seen a piebald husky, they're very rare. But just based off of her mask that extends to the back of her head, she looks like a piebald. And then uh, Maddie's just Siberian Husky. Third question, where did you buy them from and how much? So we bought them all off of Craigslist. Um, Maverick was more of a rescue than the other two. They're all classified as rescues just because they were rehomed. Um, but Maverick was act an actual rescue from a foster. Um, so Maverick, we got him from the Woodlands. Uh, Mia, we got from Corpus Christi. And Maddie, we got from Baytown. Maverick, the guy wanted like 450. We ended up paying 250 for him. Mia, they wanted 500. We uh, negotiated on 400, but we ended up getting her for free, which is in a previous video. I've talked about that. And then Maddie was, I think they wanted 500 for her, and we only paid, I believe, 400. So, um, fourth question: Where do you live, and are they inside or outside Huskies? So we live in Texas. Um, we actually live in Sealy, Texas. Um, so it's hot. Um, so it's very hot in Texas. They are the majority inside. They do go outside. Like right now, they're outside. They ate at about six o'clock when I got home, and so they. It was way hot today, so they go outside more in the evenings. So it's 9:30 at night. So I'm about to go to bed in a little bit. Um, so they'll come inside. So the majority of the time they are inside, but they do go outside to run and play and potty, of course. Um, are they neutered or spayed and will you be breeding them? Um, Maverick is not neutered. Um, that's a, that's not something that I just didn't do just to not do it because I'm an irresponsible pet owner. Um, that's actually something that if I start to talk about it it'll open up a can of worms so i'm going to save it for another video and discuss why we chose not to neuter him um it has nothing to do with breeding um mia is spayed maddie um just hit six months so she's old enough to get spayed um which i'm probably going to end up doing as far as breeding i don't think i will be doing it right now i had thought about it um but it's just there's a lot that goes into it and um it's just not something that i feel is is in my commitment to do so at this time so um what do you feed and how much so they all eat taste of the wild salmon flavor um maverick's allergic to chicken and poultry so we kind of have limited options with food um maverick eats about four and a half cups Maddie, the littlest one, started eating as much as Maverick. So she eats about four and a half cups. And Mia eats about one and a half to two cups um, a day. 
And last question, will you be getting another one? So if you follow me on any of my social media, then you already know the answer to this question. And the answer is yes. Um, we will be completing our pack with number four. Um, it is a female. And right now she's roughly three to four weeks old. Um, and we have named her Myla. She is an all white Siberian Husky with blue eyes. Um, we'll be picking her up probably the second week in September. So we're super, super excited about that. Um, I finished their room this past weekend. That was our big project. Um, we wanted to go ahead and get everything ready. So when Myla came, it would be um, an easy transition. So um, we got everything done. We're ready for her. And that will be our fourth and final one. I don't think I could handle anymore, but I will do a video when we pick her up. Um, look forward to a video for this Sunday for Maverick's birthday. I'm going to try and do something special with him. Um, stay tuned for more videos. If you have any more questions, DM them to me. Um, that's kind of why I wanted to do this video, just to touch base and answer some of the questions that I get asked, you know, all the time. So um, if you're looking for... Um, a certain kind of video for me to do in the future or you want to see something um, post it in the comments below don't, don't forget to like and subscribe to this video and I will see you guys later stay tuned for more okay guys real quick I'm just gonna show you the dogs room and show you kind of what we did to um, just kind of organize and make more, more room I had a bunch of kennels in the den and so we moved them into a room and we got everything ready for Myla to come and join us. So this is the sign on the room. And then at first glance, you see their toy boxes, their kennels. Um, we have the family wall with our pictures. And these are their toy boxes have their water bowls on the back of the door. I have their harnesses and leashes. So we have Maverick and then Mia, Maddie, Myla's on the fourth one. And then the last one is just um, leashes that have attachments so I can walk more than one dog at a time. Um, we have home as our happy place. So kind of see if it'll focus in. We have these pictures. On the ground right here, we have their dog food bin, which does have their dog food in it. Um, just to, It was underneath my sink and it was a big bag, so we just put it in the bins. That will be Myla's kennel when she comes home. They all have slow feeder bowls and their kennels are dirty. Sorry, they played outside today. And we have these signs on the wall. And that's it, this is their room. So it's all done, it came together nicely. Wasn't sure what I was gonna do, but I just kinda went with it and I really like how it came out. So they do sleep in here and they're doing really good. So when we first moved into this house, Maverick and Mia would not stay in here. They had to be near us at all times. And luckily they all have adjusted very well. So anyways, this is their room guys.